Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. First of all, I just want to thank everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. I'm so like happy. <laughs> I've uh, I never thought I would get almost 3,000 subscribers. So thank you so much to everyone that watched the Apple Daily video recently. Um, and yeah, this is Kurt. <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah, he promised me that if I get 1k subscribers, he will appear in my videos. So here we are. You're finally yeah. here. So yeah, a lot of you have um, asked me many, many questions um, on Instagram. And uh, some of the questions are kind of the same, so I'm only just gonna answer a few. Yeah, let's start with the easiest. Oh, the easy ones first. Yeah. Okay, yeah. How are you? <laughs> How old am I? Um, so I am 28 years old and you are? 26 26, yeah, yeah. Mm. How tall both of you? So you first I am a little bit of a size of 1.80 That size is only 1.70 So it's only 1.79 Yeah, I'm done Okay <laughs> I'm almost 173, um, so technically like 172.5 centimeters tall. <laughs> I just explained my 1cm different. Okay. 180. Yeah, you're almost there. Just have to keep growing. <laughs> um, do you speak Japanese? Hi, Nihongo, Hanasemas, demo. Nanka, tere chao kara, Nihongo, shabette nai no de. Yeah, if you want to see me do like a video where I'm speaking Japanese, I can definitely do that. I just said that I'm like not really confident with my Japanese and I know only 80% um, so that's my Japanese. <laughs> How did you meet each other? Was it in a bar? Can you make a video to talk about it? Um, we could just answer like really simply. I mean because a lot of people have asked like how we met and stuff. Um, I can do a video on it if you guys want to see that. Um, but not a really long story. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, so yes, we did meet in a bar uh, in Causeway Bay through friends. <laughs> we don't really talk much at the beginning. We don't even like... Uh, yeah. We just like hang, hang out. Uh, yeah, we just hanged out a lot because we had like... Um, this large friendship group so then whenever they went out and I would go out and he would go out and then we'll see each other again and um, the way we bonded was pretty much just over <laughs> playing beer pong he likes to go to TST and I went there and he's in love with playing beer pong so <laughs> so we I, I mean I'm always up for a challenge and I'm quite competitive so we would always like kind of tease each other and mock each other and that's how we kind of got closer but it was still like friendship um yeah nothing like serious or flirty yeah, yeah. not that much drama drama yeah not it wasn't like a Korean drama or anything we just <laughs> we were just friends <laughs> For um, three months before we actually made it official. A five year plan with Kurt question mark. So yeah, we do have um, kind of like a plan of priorities, like things that we want to get done within these five years. Um, <laughs> 如果沒有合適的,都會搬大一點,因為our rent is like recently end of this year Yeah, September yeah, yeah. 九月就完了,所以怎麼都會搬我們準備,即是來緊如果有機會疫情好一點,或者you you can talk about it in English Oh yeah, so like basically we never got the chance to do a proper wedding, we just did a registration um, and the reason for that is because I mean my friends and like family are all the way in the UK so basically I want this whole like pandemic situation to be over and then I can actually let people travel and come to my wedding so 
yeah we are like planning on doing uh, a nice big wedding wouldn't say like massive big wedding but just i can invite people <laughs> from other countries mm. yeah um, and uh, another thing is like, yeah, we plan on having children. Yeah, um, children. And then there was another question like about how, how many, many how many children like do we want? Yeah. Yeah. So we plan on having two. Yeah. yeah. She really like children. Yeah. I love babies. I love kids. Um, and I mean, we don't mind if it's like boy, boy, girl, 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 boy. We just. Yeah. think like two is a good number um, yeah so hopefully within these five years we can have kids that would be nice and yeah another important thing is I must have a dog <laughs> so like once we get a house then I'll definitely get a dog how did you develop relationship with foreign people like I guess the question is asking like how did we kind of manage to get into a relationship even though I'm foreign and like to me he's foreign so do you want to answer this? You start first. I mean it wasn't that difficult and I feel like everybody is the same especially when it comes to creating a relationship like building one. Um, everyone wants love, everyone wants a, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife so like I just yeah, it, it wasn't like a complicated thing. The only thing that was hard to get through is like our communication and language. Mm. Um, like not in terms of us arguing or anything like that, but it's just there's certain words that he doesn't know how to say and then I might not know how to communicate in a way that he understands. Uh, but then now it's like we've been together talking every single day so then obviously you know me you know what I want and I read the air yeah you read the air <laughs> uh, yeah and we read each other's body language I think that's like one of the crucial things when you go to another country and you, you both can't speak the same language you have body language you have things to show that you're happy sad angry you know just simple like things like that so I would just observe Kurt and he would observe me and then we will kind of get to know each other through that, if that makes sense. Hmm. I I think I'm going to think that and Hong Kong people actually the difference is really big. There is more personality, the personality is more. 每個人的性格都不同 and I mean at the end of the day we're all human so like of course we have similarities like whichever country you go to like don't be afraid to get to know someone just because they're they can't speak your language or they have a different culture like I feel like that doesn't matter the main thing is like personality being respectful and understanding, I think those are the main yeah. things. Um, like someone asked if Kurt has IG. I have IG, but I have a Taipei account. So <laughs> if you really interested to, uh, to my life, <laughs> my life is boring. So. <laughs> I mean, like we can create like a public one for Kurt if you guys want to get to know Kurt somehow but like meanwhile he does have a private IG that he doesn't really use much to be honest you don't really post anything I so. use for friends yeah just yeah. friends and chatting and communicating so share yeah. what I cook for a day or something oh yeah I could do yeah. yeah oh this one we got a lot like are we considering like moving to the UK another one was like if we're gonna move to Japan so I'll just put those together we haven't considered it like 
like short -term. honestly yeah short term we haven't considered it like within these five years we haven't thought about it because I've just moved to Hong Kong and I've just settled down here um, obviously like it is in the back of my mind like I have friends in the UK like it would be nice to go there um, but then again like I'm not so keen on the UK because I've, I've lived there all my life and I just know like what it's like to live there so then I might considering like moving to another country so yeah at, at the end of the day like we don't really know what could happen like things change all the time yeah so um, let's see yeah let's see and like with Japan as well like I I don't see myself living in Japan I've visited there a lot and I know what it's like to work there as well um, I feel like it won't be suitable for us um, he would have to learn Japanese and be fluent in English if he wanted to get work there so that's our answer for now what makes you feel that Kurt is the one so like everything about him is just perfect to me like I think he's handsome oh sorry <laughs> I think he's sweet understanding very caring it's just very rare to find someone like this honestly because I've been with like different guys in different countries <laughs> and um, huh? no one has ever you know gone up to like Kurt's level of like caring and he doesn't lie that's just like the, the wonderful thing he doesn't lie he's very genuine very pure just honest I have a lot of respect for him honestly and another thing is like he really respects me he respects what I do my choices he doesn't try to make me change yeah honestly like I've I feel lucky to have such an understanding partner yeah no, it's true like I'm not gonna just marry anyone like I married him because he's got this personality that just really matches mine and yeah, I could just see a future with him and like getting old, so that is uh, why you make me feel like mm. you're the one. Mm. Oh yeah, we got a few like suggestions, like if we can do a language challenge video, we'll definitely do one. Cute stuff and any surprises, so... I mean, the, the sweetest, most surprising thing that he did for me was like, he booked flights to come to Singapore to see me just for like over the weekend um and i thought he was lying like i thought he wasn't gonna why do i lie because <laughs> we just started the relationship we he we actually started a relationship when i was in singapore so it was already long distance and then yeah he just said like oh i'm gonna come to singapore and i just thought he was joking like yeah why would he fly all the way to singapore to see me but um he actually came and that was really nice and he always does really sweet things for me like buys me like things that I didn't say like I want it but maybe I mentioned it and he would remember he, he's really good at remembering things that I say <laughs> sometimes uses it against me but <laughs> he <laughs> yeah he loves cooking and I think like that's a really amazing thing about him is that he knows about my intolerance so he will try hard to be creative and cook me stuff that I really want to eat outside but you know I can't eat it so then he will try to make the same thing at home and if anything he'll do it better because he's like really good at cooking what about have I surprised you in any way surprised me yeah yeah my birthday staycation Oh yeah. Oh, the gift, the gift that she buy me for my birthday. <laughs> she actually hide it in under the bed. Yeah, cause like obviously this house has like no space to hide anything. The only place I can hide something is the bed. And like he, I think he knows that I'm like too lazy to you know move the mattress and stuff. So he would never think that I would actually do that and put the present under the bed. But I I managed to do it when you're out. The staycation is good. The hotel is nice. <laughs> to me, I prefer memories over like actual gifts. So then just in case he didn't like the shoes, I was like, oh, I need to put like staycation in like memory, something that we can do during this whole like crazy pandemic. It's like, what's an ideal weekend for you both? 
For me, I definitely say sleeping. If we were to spend the weekend together, it would be like a picnic or um, just walking somewhere like I don't know, going to Stanley or or having a good dinner. Yeah, having a good dinner, cooking together. Cooking together takes up time. We'd watch movies. We love watching movies. Um, Netflix. <laughs> yeah, Netflix. I think it's just what like typical like what people do in a yeah, relationship. Yeah, just like really normal. Yeah, obviously if we were allowed to do more things outside, we would. And like right now, our our goal is to save as much money as we can. That's why we don't want to go out too much and spend so much money. The biggest cultural difference between you two that took the longest time to get used to. So like another person did suggest I do a cultural difference cultural. video. So I do plan on like going in depth the difference between UK, Japan and Hong Kong culturally just people and possibly Singapore because I did live there for a while. What was the first meal that Kurt cooked for you? Was it good? Yes. <laughs> um, the first meal he cooked for me was pan fried salmon with garlic, asparagus and rice. Mushroom and and sauce. mushroom sauce, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, that was really good. Oh, it was like black pepper mushroom sauce, I remember. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and his, the presentation. I think at that time, weren't we watching like Gordon Ramsay a lot? And we were kind of like, oh, we, we need to make the presentation on point <laughs> every time we cook something. Um, yeah, and I think a few people saw in the um, Apple Daily video that I was using a sieve um, to drain the rice. I know that's super not Asian at all. I only do it because I'm lazy, so um, I, I know how to do it the right way, but I was just like... You, you have know, your own way. I have my own way of doing things. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Roger was still aya for her. <laughs> Don't judge me. Aya. <laughs> um, another guy asked, like, what is our favorite um, dish to cook? So for me, um, I usually cook like Japanese food. Everything that I used to cook well, I can't actually have anymore. So right now, I'm just creating like new a new menu <laughs> for myself. I'm still struggling, so that's why I have you. And um, yeah, what about you? What's your favorite thing to cook? What my favorite thing to cook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing that you like to eat. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> that is my answer. Like, but like... I'm good at, not good at, more prefer Western style like steak. His steak is really good. <laughs> A lot of like nice comments here, so thank you. Okay, next question. Details of how did you guys meet? Um, so as I sa already said, like we were friends before we started to date, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We... It's the other story. Yeah. It started in Singapore. Yeah, so I was in Hong Kong and then I flew to Singapore for work and then I noticed that Kurt was like checking my stories a lot and then I just thought like oh I should like get in touch with him again so then I'm the one that like reached out to him first and initiated the conversation um, and we were still friends but then like as we spoke more and I got to know him better like I realized that we have so much in common and then we just couldn't stop talking to each other and so yeah the beginning was like long distance because I was in Singapore and he was still here in Hong Kong and um, yeah we, we talked to the point where it's like 7 to 10 hours a day non-stop getting to know each other it's a similar question like who was the first <laughs> to kind of start the relationship yeah yeah I would say it was me. <laughs> um, it was actually me because like he was just quiet and shy and I knew that if I didn't speak first he would probably talk to me so I'm the one that asked him for his number and then eventually we like called each other and 
Yeah, and then you video called me, which was so sweet. He video called me to ask me if I would be his girlfriend. Yeah. That was, and, but it, the funniest thing is like I wasn't even ready for it and like I had my face mask on and like a towel on my head because I just came out in the shower so <laughs> yeah, I wasn't like dressed up or anything Oh and another like similar kind of related question is like did we speak to each other in English or Cantonese? Um, I can't actually speak Cantonese so like we can only communicate in English but saying that I have studied Cantonese for two months because I kind of want to know the basics I'm just too like shy to speak it but I do understand the very very basic Cantonese stuff yeah like Leho Leho o Gyo Kyeker um <笑>有人問我們家人對我們結婚有什麼意見 and like if I was to add to that, like I've been independent since I was 18 years old so I've made a lot of decisions by myself and um, yeah I feel like my parents like don't really have any say in, in our relationship um, As long as we have you yeah, yeah, exactly. As yeah. long as as long as we're happy, and I mean that's all that matters to me. So mm. yeah. How did you get a report by Apple Daily? Like, how did they find you guys? Um, that's a good question. So when I started my YouTube channel, obviously it was very small. I didn't have many subscribers at all. Um, but someone actually suggested that I do an apartment tour video and I did not expect that apartment video to get this big like, obviously it's not like a huge number but it just kind of went the views went up quite fast and because of that I did get like a few interviews and Apple Daily was one of them yeah that's how they, they reached out to me on Instagram and then they said that they watched my apartment tour video and they just want to get to know me and Kurt mm. and and then I just accept it because you know <laughs> it's an yeah. amazing opportunity um, yeah. they are really nice as well yeah. yeah they were so nice and friendly like we had a meeting before we actually did the interview and um, the reporter that came to us was like really friendly so we it just made us want to do the interview mm. more um, and the last question is if you can choose again would you become a model or choose another job and like to relate it to uh, to relate it to this whole q a i would say i wouldn't change modeling because if it wasn't for modeling i would have never met her like modeling gave me the chance to travel learn new things become confident because i was never confident with myself before i was actually really insecure modeling helped modeling helped me become a better person and modeling helped me meet Kurt. <laughs> yeah yeah oh no wait there was another question what else someone asked like have i always been into introverted guys oh. <laughs> how did you know kurt was introverted um yeah, yeah i guess I'm, it shows but yeah actually to be honest, I, I never did that whole like personality test before until I came to Hong Kong. That's online stuff. Yeah, the online like asking questions like whether you're extroverted or introverted and then I found out he's introverted. Um, I, like, yeah, so I like to do things by myself. I can enjoy my time by myself. He can go to the cinema by himself, which is like crazy to me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, 
like all the guys that I dated before, I, I never knew what they were. They, I don't even think they know what they are. So, so that is the final question. Um, anyway, well, not, not the final one. Oh my god, yeah, this wasn't on the Q&A, but someone directly messaged me saying like, did we marry for a TV show or charity or I don't know and no, we didn't. This isn't some prank and we married for love and um, but anyway, my camera battery is dying so we have to go. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you have any more questions, please comment down below. And um, yeah, just ask me anything you want and uh, I'll reply to as many as thank possible. You. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.